I've been lucky enough to have been cycling around South East Ireland recently for GCN, as some of you may have seen in our recent videos. But apart from the roads around here, I also have a massive love of the Celtic Sea and the dramatic Waterford coastline. I used to swim competitively when I was younger, and any chance I get, I love to get back into the water. And for that reason, I've managed to persuade the crew at GTN to allow me to swap my bike for a wetsuit and take on my very own epic Irish swim. Okay, right, so here I am on Clonay Strand Beach near Dungarvan on the beautiful Waterford coastline. And this is gonna be the start of my challenge because today I'm gonna to be swimming all the way over there. To be honest, I'm nervous. I've never done anything of this length before in the ocean, despite plenty of pool swimming experience. Will I be able to manage it solely on the fitness gained from riding my bike? It's a question I'm hoping to answer shortly. Okay, just in case things do go pear shapes though, I've managed to rope in some willing volunteers. We've got Wayne from Wave World Sports here on the beach to help me out with a small boat and support me just in case things do go awry. And I've also got two volunteers to join me in the swim. We've got Connor and Aaliyah who are gonna be swimming with me. So, better go and find them actually. Hi, I'm Connor and today I'm gonna to do the Helvig swim. I haven't done it before, so it should be a good challenge. I'm part of the Try and Test the Try Club in Garvin, so it should be a good day. Hi, um, my name is Aaliyah. Um, I love swimming. Um, I've done the Helvick Swim four years, so I was meant to do it this year, but obviously it was cancelled, so I'm really looking forward to today. I think the most challenging part of the swim is definitely probably from the Black Rock to Helvick. Um, the first part should be okay, but by the time we reach the Black Rock, might be a little bit uh, more windy out there, so the conditions will definitely be tougher. I think Connor is really looking forward to the swim today. Um, it's a little bit mad, like it's quite a long distance, but I think he'll be well able for it. I think Connor is a bit mad. So I'll be going across Dungarvan Bay to Helvick Head, which you can see behind me. It's a roughly four and a half kilometre-ish swim, and I'll be passing Ballinacorty Lighthouse there on the right, Carignamone Island, which is populated by seals. And I'll also be going across the great expanse of Dungarvan Bay with the Knockmealden and Cumra Mountains as a backdrop. It's going to be some challenge. And well, all the locals think I'm a bit mad. I think he's mad. Now the inspiration for this swim mainly came about because I just love swimming. But I also wanted to explore this part of the world in a different way to cycling on the roads. And I was also on a slightly smaller swim in the same area and I was joined by a pod of dolphins and it just was one of the most magical, magical experiences of my life. I'd like to stress, please don't attempt this swim if you're trying it yourself without the help of a dedicated and experienced support crew and boat. This is a very dangerous swim for a few reasons. Mainly, Dungarvan Bay is a busy port, so there's plenty of water traffic. The swim is best attempted at high tide. There's plenty of shallow reefs out in the bay, and it's actually rather treacherous for boats at low tide, where the rocks and the reefs really do start to show themselves. There's also plenty of bottom kelp at low tide, so it really is best attempt this at high tide. At mid-tide, there can be a current which pulls you off your line in the western side of the bay where I'll be finishing my swim. The River Bricky and the Colligan River all finish and come out into Dungarvan Bay, which make up the estuary close to Dungarvan. So I'll be contending with some strong currents where I'm near the end point of my swim, but I'll also be contending with lower water temperatures because the cold river from the water flows out on that western side, making the sea a little bit chilly. So, not only will I be battling those currents, I'll also be battling the cold a bit, which is going to make up some challenge, isn't it? Right, so I really want to draw attention to how fragile and beautiful our oceans are and why they deserve our care and attention. So if you do have a spare minute, please check out Surfers Against Sewage and Two Minute Beach Clean. We can find more information on how we can really take care of our oceans. And you should be able to find the link to those charities below. Now the route I'm doing today is actually the same route as a rather famous mass participation swim in the area, which every year raises money for the RNLI. The RNLI are a volunteer crew made up of brave men and women who risk their own lives to save those in danger in our coastal waters. 
It's a fantastic charity and if you'd like to donate, you can find the link in the description below. Final preparations are underway for the swim. I'll be given a pull buoy by Orca just to keep myself safe whilst I'm in the water and so that my support boats can see me clearly because most probably I will be getting dropped by Connor and Aaliyah. So it's best that I keep myself as visible as possible, especially once I get out into open water. But apart from that, there's nothing else really left to do other than set off and see if I can manage this epic, epic swim. We start off leaving Clone Strand, trying to keep it to a conservative pace and save our energy for when we make it out to the channel. The boys in the bay are marked out by Dungarvan Triathlon Club and I used to show a 500 meter mark across the bay, which is handy if you come to the bay for a spot of open water training yourself. We stick to this familiar course to begin with before heading out across the bay. And I've got to say, Connor and Aliyah are going pretty strong at this point and I am struggling to keep up. We still have five kilometers, four and a half, five kilometers to go. And at this pace, I'm starting to wonder if I'm really gonna be able to make this one. Right. Okay, so, Got the first kind of half an hour the swim done, and we're coming up to Carrick and Island. Island. The arms are holding out, it's very, very choppy. I've already started to feel it a bit, but I'm doing well. But the first bit done because it's quite cold, so I'm going to lose a body temperature. Anyway, hopefully, we can get around this island without the seals getting to us. So we'll see how we go. Right, see you in a bit, we'll crack on. <laughs> I'm a bit scared actually. We pass Carrick Namone Island and the seals give us a curious stare but aren't too bothered. They're better swimmers than me so I'm glad they haven't come to show us up. A wild part of the swim for sure. There's around six seals that are always present on this island. They'll come out and give you a friendly little wave and a glance but they won't come too close and it definitely is an interesting part of this epic Irish swim. We begin to head out into the Bay of Dungarvan and at this point, the wind really does pick up. We lose the shelter of the headland which we're swimming towards and for this reason, the waves start to increase in size and I definitely begin to struggle, especially with just keeping my line. I begin to lose Connor and Aaliyah easily and I have to keep recorrecting myself to get back on course and this definitely wastes my energy. But I'm doing okay and I'm hanging in there, but it is getting tough. I'm finding it hard to keep my stroke, hard to keep my breath. And at this point in the swim, I was hoping I'd have a bit more energy left. But we keep our course and we set out across the bay, knuckling down for the longer part of the swim. This really is where we will be put to the test. The views from here are absolutely astounding though. Knock Mildon and Cumra Mountains on the horizon and the beautiful Bay of Dungarvan opening up in full view. And whilst I crack on with this part of the swim, I thought I'd take a moment just to whip across the other side of the bay where we find a few friendly visitors again. It's not common to see dolphins around here, but recently they have really been coming into the bay to feed on fish and follow the shoals that do come into this region and this coastline. And it's just spectacular to see them in the wild like this. Once again, I think this is the fourth or fifth time that I've seen them on this coastline this year. Okay, so we're four kilometers in now. I battle on and with 500 meters to go, Helvik Harbour gradually comes into view. The harbour is situated on the Ring Peninsula in southern Waterford. 
It's one of the few regions in Ireland where Irish is the predominant language and a beautiful place to finish our swim. I definitely welcome the fact that in this part of the bay the wind is definitely easing. We're sheltered by the headland and I begin to get a bit more rhythm in my swim as I come to the closing metres of this swim, but I am absolutely shattered. I'm on the verge of having a full-on cramp in both legs, in my thighs, in my calves, in my feet, and my shoulders are just absolutely knackered. It takes every bit of energy just to keep my stroke going and to reach and push over the water. But with the end in sight, I carry on and I'm nearly, nearly in Helvik Harbour. In the middle when it was really choppy, I was thinking it's definitely a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. But I'm well, happy to make it now. Really warm. Oh. Oh. We did it! We made it to help you. Getting the cold a bit towards the end, it was getting pretty cold, but we did it! Made it all the way to 5k, 5k and 50 meters. So, I found that one. Right, sit down for a bit and get a rest. Elvig Harbour, we made it. A bit delirious with the cold, even. There was one point when there was a seagull that was kind of following me and I, I, felt, I thought it was like a vulture waiting for me to crack and then it was going to eat me. Luckily I made it. Okay, I'm back on dry land. I've had a shower, I've warmed up. I've recovered a bit, taken on some sugars because that was an epically hard swim actually. Harder than I thought it was going to be. I was super, super tired at the end. Really kind of my legs more than anything actually. I thought it'd be my arms but my, my hamstrings were really starting to cramp at the end. My back was sore. And I think we kind of had pretty tricky conditions today. The waves were definitely tough once you got out into the bay. And you really had to use all your energy just to concentrate on keeping your line, keeping your breaths in a regular rhythm and managing to stay with Connor and Aaliyah because they were really pushing on actually. And I was struggling a few times not to embarrass myself. But I was really grateful for this pool float which was provided by Orca. At the time, I didn't actually think that I might need one because we had the support boat and we had plenty of experienced crew ready to assist us. But the pool boy really helped in keeping myself visible to the support boats. And I felt a lot safer as a result, especially in that chop, because I was losing Connor and Aaliyah over the waves. So it would be easy for the boat to lose us as well. So I was super grateful for that. And I definitely think it was a tough swim. My cycling fitness brought me through, but I think if I wanted to go any further than that, I'd need to do some really specific training, especially when you're in the sea in the open water conditions. It is a lot harder than doing a swim in a pool, but it was a fantastic experience. It was great to experience Ireland in a different way, in a different sort of way than I've ever done before. And to be out there in the ocean with the wildlife, the dolphins, the seals, just absolutely incredible. Loved every second. So thank you GTN for having me. It was great to be on the channel for a little one-off swim for myself. And also big thanks to Wayne, the support crew, Connor and Aaliyah for joining me on the swim. They were fantastic. We we're a great little team. And oh, I'm just dead chuffed to make it to the finish, to make it to Helvik Harbour. Oh, enough to come back next year.